Welcome to CMM's Romer Arm Best Practices video. Topic 1. How to set up the arm. Remove the magnetic base from the Romer case and put the base on the steel tabletop. Initialize all three magnets. Place the Romer arm on the threaded collar on your magnetic base. Hand tighten collar until secure, then use wrench on the collar to fully tighten arm for maximum stability. Plug the power supply into the arm as shown, and ensure the power supply is plugged into a conditioner to protect from potential power surges. Plug the communications cable into your arm as shown, and then into the USB slot on your computer. Topic 2. Basic Cleaning Your Roma arm is a valuable piece of precision equipment. Here are some best practices in order to maintain your arm for as long as possible. While a Roma arm is built for the shop floor, it's always a good idea to keep your high accuracy measurement arm clean. Occasionally wipe down the arm with a lint-free cloth and menthol hydrate. As well, when you're not using the Roma arm, why not use the included cover to protect your investment from the elements? Topic 3 confidence check with your Romer system. The following checks will allow you to check your arm's accuracy. Length check. What is a length checkout? This is used to test or calculate the accuracy of the arm inside a given volume. Your length standard is calibrated by a master CMM at our Romer Service Center. These results will be attached to the artifact. The length standard must be securely fastened to a flat surface. The principle is to measure five lengths while articulating the arm in various positions. Probe 10 points at each end of the length standard as shown in the script's graphics. The length standard can also be used as a point checkout artifact. Cone check. What is a cone checkout? A cone checkout is used to determine how repeatable a single point can be measured. The ball is placed in a stationary position and 10 points are taken with the arm articulated in numerous locations. Probe 10 points in a conical set as shown in the script's graphics.